Hello, welcome back to Telly Smoothie Club. Today I'm going to be discussing and reviewing Series 2, Episode 1 and 2 of Halo. Now I might not be getting all the place names and the, the people's names right because um, I've never played the games and I'm still new to the series even though we're on Season 2 now. Uh, but Master Chief, you know, is a total badass. Um, basically, um... Um, how should I put this? Um, basically you have like these townspeople in like, on this planet that have been told and surrounded by soldiers that you've got to come with us, your planet is going to be glassed by these bad aliens. I don't know what the aliens are called, so apologies for that. But I just, they're trying to reason with this uh, shaman, I think that's what they called it, I called her, so they're trying to reason with her and she's like saying, well, we're supposed to trust you, even though what you said to us before, you know, because you've moved us before, and Master Chief and his team, and I believe there's another team also on the planet, trying to sort of take out these bad aliens that have sort of like glow, like glow stick weapons. So like, Master Chief is like climbing up a cliff, and you know, he's found this. Um, other soldier called, oh, what's her name? I think it's Price. And of course, you know, um, I'm not remembering, the, you know, I'm not going to go into much detail in like the few scenes that, of this, but basically, um, they're sort of been attacked, and Master Chief and this Price girl are like left out of Price's team, and, um, Basically, you know, they come back to their base and Price is given an award. Um, my Master Chief is sort of, um, sort of got, you know, Master Chief hasn't got Cortana in his head anymore. So uh, we find out in uh, episode two that he hasn't had her in his head for six months. But that's a bit of a spoiler for episode two if you haven't seen it. Or maybe it is, isn't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a new boss in town replacing the evil doctor from series one. And of course, um, he's trying to get on board with the team and wants to appear friendly. But from the first scene he's, he came into, um, I knew something was wrong with him. Well, not wrong with him, but... I think he's going to be a secret, another secret um, baddie. So he's trying to introduce introduce himself to Master Chief's team, and obviously, then the Master Chief's team has got to be going through health and safety again, and obviously got to be prepped for going back out in the field. And um, there's sort of sort of like banter between the new boss and Master Chief because. Um, I don't know, I don't think that it's the new guy trusts Master Chief and what his actions are, even though Master Chief leads the team and knows what he's talking about, if that makes any sort of sense. Um, then we skip over, you know, to the credits. Uh, well, the credits come in about 80, no, 16 minutes into the actual program, so... Um, yeah, so basically that, that was a long intro, but it was alright. Uh, basically, we all another scene is we come across like this pirate sort of gang, um, who sort of kidnap prisoners. Um, they kidnap like you know they sort of like do um a swap shop um of like you've got to explain why we why we should take you on our crew, and then they eject you with a little chip in your neck, I believe. Uh, so this criminal has been taken in by the pirate gang and then there's obviously this lad um, who says he can find the doctor from the first series um, only if, you know but all I want is to serve on your crew and I don't want any of the bounty because that's what I think that he's after you know it's freedom and bounty so they the pirate gang eventually takes him to this breaking up of a spaceship 
and that's when things tend to go uh, south for the pirate leader. I'm not going to say any more than that because I don't want it to be a spoil. You know, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but yeah, it doesn't go well for the pirate leader. And of course, um, uh, what else is there? Master Chief is having like these sort of hallucinations, but it doesn't actually want to tell any of his team or the the new boss of the base because like then they're not trusting each other not the team but the new boss and master chief so i'm not explaining this right i i didn't have audio description on when i watched episode one so i'm a bit scattered about um but i just it it ends with sort of like a mono uh, um sort of like a little speech and of course then obviously going to you know because i watched that on thursday now skipping to today when i watched episode two i had audio description on for some reason uh it worked on my telly but not on my computer so i've got a you know fiddle with the settings so i was able to you know learn a little bit more with audio description on so basically um uh hang on how do i word this um, I only watched it today and I've forgotten how it started. Um, basically, the intro was a bit short, quite a lot short today. There was only maybe a couple of minutes before the credits. So, yeah, but, um, you know, um, so I, I'm trying to get the words out and I'm not thinking, not thinking of them quick enough and my mouth's not, you know, went in to say them. But anyway, Master Chief is trying to, uh, Master Chief has found Prius from, you know, um, I'm going a bit, I'm go, going a bit ahead of the episode, but Master Chief and the new boss is like still butting heads and, you know, um, Master Chief learns that the, the girl Prius, Prius, Price, I think it's Price, yeah, um, didn't actually state properly what had happened so she lied to the new boss so that makes master chief look like well what the hell are you talking about she had no recollection so master chief goes around to her house and obviously her family is so happy to see him because she's you know her, her mum says oh she's never had visitors before so you know they invite them in for dinner and like then you know they start talking after dinner you know intimately saying well, why didn't you actually say anything? And she was like, you know, she said, my whole team was slaughtered, you know, they gave me a medal. What do, you know, I couldn't say anything. You know, so I think she's a little bit of a shame for what she did, you know, not actually speaking out what my, you know, agreeing with what my chief had said. But also, you know, she just lost her whole team, you know. God knows what grief that does, you know. But I just, like, um... I think it's the pirate's girlfriend uh, has a little bit more screen time in this episode. Uh, but I think she's his girlfriend. But um, she's saying like, well, what? Oh, I can't really go into it from the last episode. But she's like, he would have never, you know, he's alive. He would have never left you. Why have you left him? You know, so I'm not going to get into, you know, that scene, at, you know, in the fall. Because obviously... No, obviously I don't want to ruin it, but it just, um, I'm not explaining this very well, um, but it's just like, look, there was a bit with the pirate leader's kid in it again, um, uh, I don't really know who he's talking to, I think it might have been the girl from the first episode of the first series, but I'm not entirely sure, because like, you know, she's on the one um but you know it's sort of i'm not gonna i'm just gonna get straight to the end now because i can't you know i can't remember i'm not making much sense so uh at the end um they're focusing on this keystone and it's the bad the female baddie um with the aliens from the first series she's just about to touch this keystone then credits come i'm thinking you know I still don't really understand the keystones. I mean, I've got to, maybe I've got to go back and watch series one again. But I just, I'm hooked, you know. 
I want more episodes. I want to learn more about this TV show. Because I can't play the games. So I'm having to learn, you know, week by week. But I did love both episodes. Even though I need to sort of... Maybe write notes down again. Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to write notes down again. So it makes more sense when I do episode 3. Um, but... I am enjoying this series, you know, I, I'm i now going to have to look forward to each week, you know. But, you know, every Thursday watching an episode and then trying to do the review straight after. So I, so it's still fresh in my head because I watched episode two this morning and I've watched other stuff since, so I'm a bit scatty. Um, but yeah, I generally do like this show. I hope to see some, you know, um, I know a lot of people didn't like season one very much, but I actually enjoyed it. It was my first time going in. To the show so I, I i love season one i know i'm gonna love season two so that's it that's all i'm gonna say until next week's episode which will be episode three so take care everyone have a good weekend and i'll see you later bye